Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to tell you all about the latest competitor in the AI art scene. It's called Leonardo AI. At the time of filming this video, Leonardo AI still requires early access. I'll show you all the steps needed to get the exclusive early bird access and also walk over all the basic functionalities that it provides. Like all my other videos, I'll have the timestamps for all the sections mentioned in the description. So if you want to get to a specific section, you can just click on that directly. All right, let's get started. So a lot of tools that you might be seeing in the market have a lot of focus on portrait pictures. Leonardo AI was actually created with a focus on creating game assets. So if you see in the background of this website, there's a hammer, there's a helmet, there's like a grenade of some sort. You might see a lot of these assets and characters in video games. So Leonardo AI was designed specifically to create different kinds of worlds and assets for video games. Some examples are like helmets, buildings, concept arts and environments. You can of course create portraits or any other kinds of art. However, the focus of Leonardo AI is video game assets. The first step you need to do is to go on this website leonardo.ai and put in your email right there and click count me in. When you do that, you're going to get an email saying thank you for signing up for early access. This is where you're going to get a link to their discord server. So make sure to have a discord account ready before. When you log into your discord server, you're going to see a bunch of channels. The channel you need to go is introductions. This is where you just introduce yourself like hello, I would like to learn this new AI tool. After that, you're going to get access to this channel called priority early access. When you are on this priority early access channel, click on this Google Doc. This is where you provide your information to be on the whitelist. They're going to have some simple questions like have you joined their discord? Have you introduced yourself? What is your discord username? your email address and your first name. When you do that, it's going to take up to a day for them to approve your application. You're just going to get an email that your email has been whitelisted. When you receive that email that you have been approved, go back to this website, leonardo.ai, click launch app. They're going to ask for the email that you have provided in that Google form. When you do that, you'll be taken to the leonardo.ai app. And this is where you're going to see all the functionalities that they have available. I'll do a small walkthrough of their application. There's a lot of things going on and I'll make separate videos for specific things. For today, I'm just going to go over the basic functionalities. The first section they have is their community feed. Here you can see all the creations that are generated by the community. If you want to look for a specific style, you can search the gallery. I quite like this pencil drawing style that I see here. So I'm going to search pencil drawing now you can see all the designs which are of that style you can also see the ones which are upscaled only when you click upscaled you're going to see all the items from the community feed which are pencil drawings and which have been upscaled that means they're of generally a higher quality like this one or this one the next section is the personal feed. This will show you all the images that you have generated yourself. Like yesterday, I generated this image of a majestic horse. While going through the community feed, if you like specific pictures and click this heart, it will show up in your liked feed. Like yesterday, I found this beautiful owl and I liked the picture and it's now showing up in my liked feed. I also followed this artist who is creating these images. When you do that, your followers feed will show up all the generations that your favorite artists are generating. I don't like following too many artists though because my feed can get really cluttered. The next section I want to talk about is fine-tuned models. I'm skipping this for a reason. I'll come back to it right after. So Leonardo AI provides a bunch of different designs and styles that you can just use. However, if there is a certain style that you have in mind, which you don't find in the platform models, you can actually create that yourself. This brings me to the next section, which is the training and data sets. Here, you can use a certain number of pictures to create a brand new model. All you do is click a new data set, click create data set. This is where you upload the pictures to create the data set. Some examples of data set that people have created can be found in fine tuned models in the community model section. These are models designed completely from scratch by people from the community. I'll have a different video coming up diving deep into the training and data set section of Leonardo AI. Just like the community feed, there's a lot of models and platform models that you can choose from. If you like some specific ones, you can just click this button and then it's going to show up in your favorite model section. If you create a brand new model from the training and data set section, it's going to show up in the section called your models. All right, let's move on. The next section is the AI canvas. It's currently in beta. This is basically an image editor where you can use different kinds of functionalities to edit any of your generations. 
I'll also have a different video coming up diving into the details of the Leonardo AI image editor. The last section I want to go over is the AI image generation. As you see, there's so many functionalities in the Leonardo AI application that the actual image generation is the last one. There's a lot of things going on and it can get pretty overwhelming. So I would recommend focusing on one thing at a time versus getting distracted by all the different sections. Like all the other AI tools, there's an option for creating one to four images. I think the five to eight option will be available for a higher paid tier. The current version of Leonardo AI allows you to generate up to 250 pictures a day. Each picture is one token and you get 250 token which gets refreshed every day. You have the option to choose from four image dimensions. You can select your dimension yourself. You also have the option for the level of prompt guidance, the step count, which is how detailed you want it to be. Tiling is an option you can use to create repeated textures. For instance, if you have a generation and if you want to keep repeating the texture for it to form a larger background, you can use the tiling option. You can also use image to image. That means uploading an existing image and working with that. The button hidden here in the bottom is actually really useful because sometimes you try out different things and it doesn't work out. You can just reset to the default version. Any of the community models or the models you might have generated will show up in this drop down right here. I'll type in the prompt a majestic golden retriever. Use the model lunar and click generate. There you have it, a beautiful golden retriever using the Luna model. This is the model that I used for that generation. As you see, Leonardo AI has a lot of really, really cool features and I will be making videos diving deeper into the individual sections. If you did get some value from this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you stuck around till now, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.